Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about where to start in terms of the front end or the back end when getting started with web development. And this has always seemed as a particular obvious answer to me, but I, I get it time and time again, uh, which is why we're going to talk about it, because I don't like just saying why you should do one thing without explaining why. And... Uh, no, TLDR, front end, okay? If, if you don't care about the reasoning, you can, uh, you know, stop watching the video. But that's the TLDR version. But why, so why should you learn the front end over the back end? Um, even though, even though the portions of jobs out there are only 10% front end, 25% back end, and 65% uh, full stack. So the goal should always be to be a full stack developer. But why do I say start with front end? Uh, when you're just getting started well it's pretty straightforward it, at least in my eyes and other people like quincy larson have said that which is why free code camp is structured this way um why you should start with the front end when you're trying to grasp concepts that are abstract um and kind of logical and they don't really if you're not used to thinking the way a programmer is used to thinking you need every advantage you can get at the end of the day and one of the positive things about about working with the front end is it gives you a unique perspective on how to actually wrap your mind around things because you can visualize it and you can see it it's also one of the reasons that i'm a big believer on those things like algorithms which you may not visualize as much uh or at all sometimes <laughs> uh, other than the output but you can actually, that's why I suggest drawing it out and using arrows and kind of seeing how things are looping and doing things. And it's the same concept with the front end. Try and visualize it, and the front end allows you to do that. Now, um, in the back end, it's, you're still going to be using a lot of code, and you're going to be learning a lot of great concepts. And typically, it's, it's more advanced concepts, which is another reason why I would stay away uh, from the back end. But the back end really, at the end of the day gets data sends data out and you know does a few things with it so you're 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 going to get very you're going to get typically just a data object or just a variable back and it may be very hard or it not maybe it is very hard for someone who's just starting out to learn all these new concepts and uh maybe not get the handicap that they should get in terms of the front end you'll actually see when you're when you're developing in the front end, you have to connect with two things, HTML, CSS, and your JavaScript, right? On the back end, you, you might have to connect with the database, so you have another advanced topic. Uh, you're going to be or another uh, another item, and databases are much harder than HTML and CSS. And um, when learning, you know, no SQL or SQL databases, you may not know where to even get started with the uh, back end technologies. While when the front end, it's, it's you'll typically get the same answer: HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's the front end, and then it gets more advanced from there. But what what you can benefit from is knowing that there's kind of a clear hierarchy of path. Um, some people like to start with JavaScript before HTML and CSS, and that's that's okay. Um, in, in my experience, and for what I've been told by subscribers and, peop and, and people who've got started that way, uh, typically what happens is they, they learn or they, they begin learning JavaScript and then they say, what, what do I do with this? Like, what, now what? Now what? Uh, that's why I say start with the HTML and CSS because um, once you learn kind of the, the syntax of JavaScript, you'll move on to DOM manipulation, which you'll need to know HTML and CSS and DOM manipulation um, stands for doc, document object model and what that basically means is that you are going to do things to the browser where like you click here on the browser you click this button and now it does something you hover over this image and now it does something that's sort of dom manipulation um, in its simplest form and you'll learn a lot more and I, I, I just not, not that you learn a lot more you'll learn different subjects obviously front end and back end but when something fails in the HTML and the CSS, you can you can tie it back to your JavaScript very easily. It's much harder to debug in the back end, and there's tools for front and back, but it's much harder to debug in the back end, uh, generally speaking, than it is the front end. So if, you, if you're just getting started, I, I really encourage you to start with, uh, start with the front end and then move 
down to the back end once you feel comfortable or once you feel like you've built up a, a sufficient front end portfolio. And if you haven't started that way and you think the back end's a better way, I'd love to know your reasoning. I don't, I don't claim to know everything uh, by any um, stretch of the imagination, but I, I do think that you'd be doing yourself a huge disservice if you started in the back end, especially as your first programming language. When in JavaScript, you have the luxury of actually seeing when your shit's fucked up. And I think that's <laughs> that's a great thing to a great thing that you should take to advantage of. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Leave me your questions, comments, all that good stuff in in the uh, comments. I guess that's the only place you really can leave it or tweet me, whatever. Uh, you can uh, join our Facebook group, Kotec and Caffeine. Lots of great stuff on there, and support me on Patreon.com/slash CodingTutorials36. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay motivated. Keep working hard. See you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching